The final day of voting underway in Georgia's key Senate runoff. Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock, the Republican challenger Herschel Walker, they have both been campaigning hard down to the wire. For Democrats, a win means more than just leverage. It means an outright majority in the Senate. For Republicans, it's one final opportunity to flip a Senate seat. Our congressional correspondent Rachel Scott has the latest. Georgia voters heading to the polls one last time for the final Senate battle this midterm election. Before a big game, I don't sleep because I'm ready. So I want y'all to get ready. Are you ready to win this election? Democratic incumbent Senator Raphael Warnock and his Republican challenger Herschel Walker crisscrossing the state with just hours to go, pleading with voters to turn out. That's what we're working on right now. We're working on turnout, turnout, turnout. More than 1.8 million have already cast their ballot, shattering records. Warnock won more votes in November, but not enough to avoid a runoff. Now heading into this election day, feeling the momentum, urging his supporters to not let up. I need you to vote and tell everybody in your circle to vote like it is an emergency. Walker with this closing message. A vote for my opponent is a vote for Joe Biden. Herschel Walker is basically calling you a rubber stamp for President Biden. <laughs> what do you say to voters who might be worried about that? I am the 18th most bipartisan senator in the Senate, period. Now, I know that that's an inconvenient fact for Mr. Walker, but we also know that he's allergic to facts, even the facts about his own life. Warnock insisting this all comes down to character, pointing to allegations that have plagued Walker's campaign, domestic abuse, lying about his resume or the number of children he has, and accusations that he paid for two women to have abortions, which he denies. And Rachel Scott now joins me live from Marietta, Georgia. Rachel, I know that you just spoke with Herschel Walker just a bit ago. What was his message today? Yeah, just moments ago, Trevor, he was out at a diner urging people to get out to vote, making that one final push. But one thing was very clear. He did not want to talk about any of these controversies surrounding his campaign. Take a listen. <laughs> Mr. Walker, your rival's well, calling out your character. Are you confident that you could put I'm this I'm not going to have that. We're going out to win this election. So this election, I'm telling people to get out and vote. That's the reason I'm out right now. I want everyone to get out and vote. This wealth is going to be good. So I said, we got to get out and vote. Yes, uh, I, I think what God has been good to us. Warnock is calling out. I'm not going to answer that question. What, I don't what care what you said. What we're just calling be, out we're, your we're, 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 we're calling out your We're not going to answer this. What we're going to talk about is voting. We're going to talk about is voting. And I think what the people have done is done a good job. I think one of the best things we did is during the early election, I think people got out and they voted. And I think people can't say anything about Atlanta anymore. Uh, I think Atlanta right now shows that they don't care about all this black and white. They care about voting. An interesting strategy there from Walker when his opponent is making all of this about his competence, about his character. That is what Warnock is running on, saying that Georgia could do better than Herschel Walker. But as you see, as voters head to the polls this morning, this is something that Walker just does not even want to touch. Even just the mention of Warnock's name led to me getting cut off. He doesn't want to talk about it. He wants to talk about the weather. He wants to talk about early voting, anything but those attacks that he's getting from his opponent, Trevor. Interesting. And we also know, I mean, Rachel, this has been an all-out blitz to this runoff election. We've seen all sorts of people campaigning. We haven't seen President Biden or former President Trump there. What does that tell you about this campaign? Yeah, it's pretty notable that both of these candidates have kept the two major leaders in each of their parties at a distance. President Biden has not even been in this state campaigning for Warnock at all. Former President Donald Trump helped propel Walker to victory early on in the Republican primary. But since then, Walker has sort of kept him at a distance. And one person that Walker is now turning to in the final stretch is a popular Republican here that he did not campaign with at all leading up to November. And that is Governor Brian Kemp, who easily won re-election. He is now endorsed Walker, and he's hoping that some of that support that Kemp has in this state will peel off and help lead him to victory. He told me that he's confident that he's going to win tonight. Trevor. Rachel Scott in Georgia. I saw you almost call me George, Rachel. I know. I almost called you George, Georgia. <laughs> There's a lot going on, Trevor. That's it's election That's day. True. We're it's finally a busy day. here. Final battle. Let's it's do it. It's a busy it. day. You, you got to pass. <laughs> Rachel Scott, thank you very much. And we're going to have full coverage of the results as they come in from Georgia tonight on ABC News Live Prime with Lindsey Davis. That starts at 7 o'clock Eastern.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.